good day to Elite Ballerers. Um, and hello to everyone. Here is your latest installment of Elite Ballet. This would be for Thursday, April 23rd. Yes. <laughs> um, had to check just to be sure that I knew what, what day it is. Um, today we're going to just start with a little warm up on the floor um, for some abdominal work. I know it's our favorite thing, but strong abdominals makes a strong dancer. Um, so we're going to start lying on our backs. Legs are just in parallel, relaxed. You don't have to point, point your feet, but um, they're also not in a flexed position. So we're going to lay back all the way and bring our arms above our head in fifth position. And we're going to curl up and bring your arms around as if you're going to hug your knees in two counts. One and two, so your spine is curved here. Then we stretch it out. Um, arms come to a V and the legs stretch. Three and four. Coming back to the curved position. And then we lower on eight. We take that again. One and two. Spine, everything lengthens. Three and four. Curving five, six. Relax seven, eight. Third time, we come up. Two. As you stretch, you're going to spiral to the right. Three and four. Back to center and curve five, six. Seven, eight. And then one. Two, spiral left, three, four, curving five, six, and seven, eight. Um, <clears throat> we're going to take that exercise twice through. I'm not going to demonstrate again, um, but we'll start over with uh, the two planes stretching in the center and then when we take our spiral on the repeat we'll spiral to the left back to center and down and then we spiral right um, so uh, just to repeat when you initially come up your spine is in a curved position and it's as if you're about to hug your knees you don't physically touch and you also just want to be sure that you're not taking your shoulders and hunching over here. The shoulders are still down, but it's a real modern, um, a modern curve that you would have in a, in a modern technique. Also often referred to as contraction. So you're pulling that belly button back to your spine as you curve. And then everything lengthens up. Okay, I'm not on a very good angle for that, but um, curving with the shoulders down, lengthening everything with the shoulders down, back to your curve. And just to remind us that the vertebrae in your neck are, are part of your spine, right? So when you're curving, you want that to be a part of the curve as you come up. And then it's also a part of the lengthening, right? You want to lengthen through your, the uh, vertebra in your neck, just like the rest of your um, spot. Uh, remember to breathe. Uh, some breathing guidelines would probably be um, inhale as you curve up, two, exhale, three, four, inhale, 
as you come back to your curve and then exhale as you roll down um, to your starting place. So that's uh, slow two counts um, for each breath. Two counts in and two counts out, right? Really will help you, um, especially as your abdominals start to get tired. And I'm pretty sure that is uh, going to be the case. So get ready and we'll take our positions on our back, arms above our head in a fifth position. Turn in. So both legs are now in parallel. 
parallel. In this particular stretch, again, we're going to stretch the hip flexors from the hips. We've had this before. We stretch down to the floor. Stay three and four, five and six. Coming up seven, turn out. Right? And why, are we, why does it turn us out? Because we are rotating and turning our hips back to face the front. So we're here on the seven, Ramajan fourth. One and two, three and four, breath and six and seven and eight. Another breath as we turn you the inside leg to the back. And I probably don't have enough space to do my slide, so I'll turn diagonally. Lunge down this leg. These legs are turned out, both of them. Um, we're down by two and three and coming up four. And we'll take our arch back. Remember, no weight in that toe. Six and recover seven. Close fifth on eight. Demi plie one and stretch two, three, open four. Breath the grand plie six and seven and eight. Rise up to demi point and we'll take our stretch over two and three, up four and back five, six. And seven, recover and balance. Stay. We'll turn to the second side before we lower and finish. Um, <clears throat> forgot what I was going to say. So, oh, remember to keep the connection between your vertebra and your head and your eyes. And that's not just for our plie exercise, that really should be something that you are practicing in every single exercise at the bar and in the center. Um, it's just, we start at the bar, so this is a good place to start. Okay, so first position.
to the other side. Release to lower softly. Turn in three, 
on to drum, close. Same thing in second. And then from the back. And then plie one, releve two. And three. And four. Five. Turn six. Plie on you finish. Or continue on the second side and then we'll finish once we get back to the first side. Okay, so first position, heels together, pulling towards each other, feeling the rotation in your glutes, derriere, your inner thighs. Like that little stripe on the barbershop. I think we had talked about this in class one day, that you have that little red stripe that's going around your leg all the way from the bottom to the top, really thinking about that spiraling action um, in, your upper, in the upper part of your legs especially. Here we go. Start the 
goes again from the back. Tondu, one and two. Again, the arm goes fifth and open. Back and six and seven. The A. Rise, turn around, and we go right away on the other side. So, again, we're really working the rotation of the working, moving leg. Um, and if it helps, try to think about where your knee is looking, right? When we're rotating and turned out, it should be looking as much to the side as possible. When we rotate and turn it in, at least in the front, it's looking up on a diagonal. And then it, we turn it out and it looks up, up and up. Now in second position, it should be looking side. We rotate in and it's looking front. Side, front, side, front. And then of course in the back, it should be looking side and then it looks down towards the floor, side, down towards the floor. Um, that's just a little different way to think about it as you're working that turnout um, in each position. Okay, so fifth position. Right foot in front. Preparation.
complicated arms, just a preparation arm open to second. So we have one and close two. Change back and forth. And then we have one count apiece. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and four. Front side back brush. Front side back. Back and sorry. First two are two counts apiece. One close two. Three close four. Five, six, seven, eight. Out and two, three and four. Back side front brush. Back side up and turn. Front and close. Back and close. Single and six and seven and eight. One and two. One and two. Three and four. Front side back and front side back. And then starting from the back. Back and close. Three and four. Five, six, seven, eight. Second and the two. And three, four. Back side, front brush. Back side, front. Um, <clears throat> When we finish on the second side, we're just going to uh, keep the leg off the floor in the air. So I'll turn back around. Keep the leg off the floor in the air and take your hands off the bar and really thinking about the rotation of that leg before we find you and close. So you'll finish on the second side. And then we will start on the second side and repeat it back around to the first side and taking the balance at the end. Um, so just to um, talk about a, a couple of things I've been seeing in our videos um, really important, again, that you were, put your whole foot on the floor every time you close into fifth position. Um, I'm seeing a lot of not the foot not all reaching fifth position, or I'm seeing instances of that happening. And um, in one case, I believe it was Ava. Um, it was in one of the last videos that I saw from from you. I'm not sure that you put your whole foot down the entire exercise. Um, this was a day to day exercise at the bar. I believe it was the one that had the carry and then front, front, front. Um, anyway, so ladies. Please be sure that each time you close to fifth, you put your whole foot on the floor and put weight on it. Because in this exercise, as we've had several um, different kinds like, like this, we have to change that. Right? So if you're not putting your foot down um, all the way or not getting all the way into fifth, then we get something that looks, and that slows you down, right? So we want to move it as efficiently as possible to save our energy because it takes a lot of energy to dance, right? So um, really think about that in this exercise. Close all the way into fifth, and be sure your whole foot is on the floor. Um, so that we can exchange our weight between each, between the legs. Okay, so right foot in front. Five.
second side. sent to me so that I can have a look at it and I would also like to see the opening exercise the abdominal exercise just so that I can see proof that everyone is doing it um, we, we are all human and probably have a similar tendency to not do things that aren't fun but that are good for us so um, our opening exercise and this degage exercise, I probably have a, maybe like two more that I um, would like to see from everyone. Okay, all right, we're going to take another fondue exercise uh, today in place of a uh, Ronde Jean parterre. I will address some of the things to focus on after I show the exercise or perhaps while I'm showing. So we'll have preparation five, six, let's just take demi plie seven and fondue second on, open on eight. So we have fondue and extend to 45 degrees. Lower to tendu, lift, and return 45 degrees. And then we fondue again. This time we come to 90. Lower to tendu and lower the heel. And rise. Open two seconds. Single and two. And three and four. Double, double. Lower the tendu and the heel together. That is one of the corrections. Close back. And then, actually, don't close. Hold on eight. And then we start to the back. One, open to 45 degrees, lower to tendu and lift, pull. And five and six, lower tendu and lift, eight. Carry. One and two and three and four. These are on day down. Six. Lower seven. Cross. Turn. Open. And you're ready for the other side. So, some of the things that I've seen in videos that I've uh, reviewed. Um, when we're lowering our leg, if it's extended up in the air, usually at the, a higher level, the 90 degrees or maybe a little above, and we're on demi point. Um, where some of us are, have a little disconnect where our heel is reaching the floor and then the tendu, or that's usually the one I see. Um, I guess you could say that the tawn you could get to the floor before the heel, but that's really 
not very common. The most common thing is for the heel to reach before the toe. So in this exercise, um, that is something I want everyone to work on. In fact, I think of all, every video that I've seen where that has been an element in the, our exercise, um, I think that is a correction um, for every everyone that I've seen. Some of, the, some of you, I think I may have already given you feedback about that, but um, for everyone, just know that what you're trying to do in that case is lower the leg to taunt you and lower the heel to the floor so that they arrive to get. Just as when you lift, if you were to go back up, as we do in this exercise, you want the leg to reach, it's the height that you're bringing it to and the heel reaching its highest releve, end point, together also. So you wouldn't want the leg to get up here and then lift the heel, right? It's like they're connected, right? They are coordinated, co, that co, just like, um, means they're connected, right? So this is what we're talking about when I'm talking about coordination. The working together and the connectedness of our bodies. And in dance, um, it's a very big part of it. So, as you lift the leg and you rise to your getting point, you want those two things to finish together also. Yes? Um, the same thing. Think about it if you were doing releve passe. You don't want to hit the releve and then the leg slowly come up. And you don't want to hit the passe and then the releve happen after. Right? They want you want those to happen together. This is where you work that coordinate on that coordination in a slow exercise like this. So um, that's one of the things that I want you to focus on, everyone to focus on in this exercise. Um, there was something else. Oh, remembering that fondue means to melt. I think I'm pretty sure I told, gave this correction to a couple of a couple of you also. Um, so yes, we were really good here in the melting part, but be, um, think about the extending part also, right? You don't want to melt and then snap. Um, it has to have that elongating um, stretchiness like a rubber band or chewing gum that you step on on a hot um, pavement and it strains along attached to your shoes and makes us really angry. <laughs> um, but that's the, the quality you want to have when you extend the leg open also. Um, and one last thing to think about and work on is to be sure that you're not overcrossing your coupe when you pick the foot up for fondue. Right? This is uh, the same thing as making fours and pirouette. And we don't like to make fours and pirouette. We don't like to make little fours um, and fondue either. Right? Physically touch your pinky toe in the front or physically touch your heel, the inside part of your heel, in the back with the knees to the side. All right, so that's a lot of information. Back it up and listen to it again if you need to. Um, and watch the, the, my demonstration again for the exercise. And um, then if you're ready, we'll continue. Starting 
Right foot in front. Remember preparation, you're going to taunt you to second position. Ready? Two arms in fifth. 
One, land, four. Position lunge, which means the front knee is bent, but the back knee is straight. And then we tendu, place in fourth. Pirouette on day or five, six, land fourth position lunge. Tendu close, other side. Left and the two, three and the four, five and the six, seven and the eight, and one, two, three and four, and five, six, land fourth, tendu close. So we have the quasi devant and derriere, a carte devant and derriere with our passes. Um, not only thinking about the arms, but position of your head and your focus. It should be here on a carte devant, here on a carte derriere. Um, and then, of course, you're looking out into the audience for your. Quasi de ball and under your arm for the quasi derriere. Um, and then, of course, all of the regular things that we need to remember always keeping a very stretched standing knee on all your blind bot ma, especially to the front. And Making sure that your bat ma to the front is not flipping over so your knee is looking up. Remember back to our first tendu exercise where we're talking about the knee should be looking as much side as possible when your leg is extended to the front. Not here, but rotated and turned out. So yes, you can get your leg high, but if it's not turned out, it does not matter. Right, so I want you to think more about rotation and the correct position than how high your leg would go. Um, okay, so get ready. Quasi, right foot in front. Um, and this should get you fired up. Five and six. 
curves into first because we're doing on de down pirouette. Picking up the back foot, turning towards the front leg. Same porte bras as the promenade. Um, turn happens on three and four. Three and four. Five, six, seven.
great. Um, if you want to know and you work by count um, in your dancing, then we have chasse one, stretch up two, promenade three, four, stretch it five, place on six, turn seven, plie, pas de bourre on eight, and one, stretch two, three, and four, five, place six, turn seven, plie, back, side, front. Okay, so get ready. Um, something to think about also in the promenade and attitude and the turn uh, is the, the side of the back of the lifted leg. Just as um, we don't want our, our rib cage and upper body to twist. Um, think about pressing this side, the back, the shoulder blade forward to make that um, spiral and it pushes forward along with the heel of the standing leg um, to take you around. And that's in the promenade and the turn. All right. So now we'll get ready.
pawn juice would be good, and this exercise here. Um, so four, um, or you can pick three of those, except the first one is not included in your choice. That is a must. Um, but pick from those other three exercises and um, send me two. So either fondue and this exercise or the negligee and this exercise. It could be solely based on some of the corrections that you've gotten. What do you think that I want, want to see from you? 